What's up guys, Massacre Films here. Welcome to the breakdown for the Acolyte Season 1, Episode 1. And this one was an okay episode. We obviously got the first two episodes back on Wednesday, I believe. Or Tuesday, something like that. And they were okay. I feel like the show isn't anything too crazy so far. I'm not super invested in any of these characters. The story was kind of predictable, and I feel like you can kind of try and figure out where the rest of the show is going to go. I feel like they ruined the mystery aspect of this show by just kind of immediately revealing that they are twins, which if you haven't seen the episodes, this is kind of basically about a dark side twin and a light side twin and they were kind of separated when they were children, and so now one of them is hunting down Jedi, and the other one is kind of doing her own thing. Used to be a Jedi, but isn't a Jedi anymore. And they immediately ruined that whole aspect of it. I feel like they could have dragged that out and turned it into some kind of big reveal, because no one really knew that until kind of some of the trailers started coming out, and then I believe like something in the press store basically confirmed it. So... Everyone knew that they were twins. It was revealed in the first episode and just kind of lame. I was hoping that they would add some kind of mystery aspect to it that, oh, maybe it was this light side twin who's trying to get revenge on some of the Jedi that used to train her or took her from her village. But no, instead we kind of immediately find out that is the twin, and I feel like they could have used that as a fun plot twist in this show, and they just kind of didn't do that. But this episode started off with actually seeing the Acolyte, or May, I believe is the dark side twin's name, and she is hunting down a Jedi. This is Carrie Ann Moss's character. I know a lot of people are excited to see her in Star Wars, and she kind of got killed in the first scene. And it was kind of dumb because you can see how the lightsaber is not really that powerful anymore because the Acolyte fought Carrie Ann Moss's character, I don't even remember her name, in the bar, and she ended up stabbing her with a knife. She doesn't have a lightsaber yet, she used a knife, she threw a knife at her, and it ended up killing her. And it wasn't even like some kind of long knife, it was a little dagger. And it's stupid, because usually in Disney Star Wars, when characters get stabbed, they kind of survive, but they get stabbed by a lightsaber instead of a knife. And apparently a knife is way more lethal than a literal laser sword. So I guess that's what we're going for here. And then after that, we kind of see the other twin, I forgot her name, I think it was like Osha or something like that. And she is on a ship. She's working for Nemoidians, which is pretty cool. And we can hear one of her co-workers talk about how much fun they had on Nar Shada and how she should have gone with them. But instead, she stayed back. And this is where you can kind of see like, oh, if she stayed back that night, that means that she must have killed the Jedi, and that was her, and that was this character. But I feel like throughout this show, they didn't even make an effort to hide the fact that it isn't actually Osha, and it's instead May, her twin sister. I feel like throughout this episode, as I was watching it, there was absolutely no reason for me to believe that Osha was the one who killed the Jedi and that May is actually alive, which it was later revealed that she was actually killed, but turns out she's alive. So again, I feel like it would have been much better if they didn't reveal that they're twins and they kind of moved along with that plot point a little bit, but instead they like immediately reveal that and they don't even, again, make an effort to try to hide the fact that it isn't Osha. Oh well, it's just something that's a little bit confusing to me, but moving along with the episode, we see Osha actually get captured by the Jedi. I forgot their names. These are all High Republic characters, so I don't know if they were in the books or not, but it's a Jedi Knight and his Padawan. So they grab Osha, they put her on a ship with a bunch of other prisoners. The prisoners end up escaping, taking a couple of escape pods, 
and Osha is just left on the ship. And so she kind of crash lands the ship on a planet. We can see she has some visions of her sister and the fire. We see her master, Master Soul. This one is probably the most intriguing character in this whole entire show, besides maybe the Sith that we see at the end. But out of the Jedi characters, Master Soul is probably my favorite. One of the other Jedi Masters goes up to him and says that his old Padawan is accused of killing a Jedi. And he immediately just doesn't believe that that is the case. He, so you can see, is still kind of attached to his young Padawan. This is where he mentions that obviously May died and we find out about that. We find out about the backstory of her village where... It kind of burned down because May started the fire. And so now everybody assumes that May died with the fire and the only person that survived was Osha, which is obviously not the case. Master Soul wants to go to track down Osha himself. And so he recruits that Jedi Knight and his Padawan again. And they go on a ship and they go to the planet where the Republic prisoner transport ship crash landed. And so now that they're there, they go and they try to find Osha. They eventually find her. She almost falls off a cliff, but she's saved by Master Soul. And then that is kind of the end of their story. She is back in Jedi custody and now, again, still accused of being a Jedi killer. Even though Master Soul believes that May actually survived and that it was May who killed the Jedi and not Osha. And Osha tells this to Master Soul. He believes her. And that's kind of how we end off this story. The final scene of this episode, we see the Acolyte or May go up to this weird Sith character. And this character has a lot of potential. We don't really know who he is. It could be just some random character that we don't really know about. Or it could be a more known character. There were some rumors a while back that Darth Plagueis would be in this show. It doesn't look like Darth Plagueis, just from like the way that his body is shaped and everything. But it would be cool if we end up seeing Plagueis in this show as a cameo or something. So this is kind of May's master. He talks about like what an acolyte does if the acolyte kills without a weapon. Something about acolytes, I don't even remember. Then he ignites his red lightsaber, which is cool. And that was kind of the end of this episode. So I thought it was fun. The show hasn't really blown me away or anything. I'm not super invested in the plot yet. Again, it would have been cooler if we didn't already know that Osha is innocent and that she has a twin sister. I feel like they could have done that a little bit differently to make it be more of a mystery, at least until like halfway through this season or something like that. But instead it's revealed in kind of basically the first episode. But... Besides that, I thought it was okay. Nothing too crazy again. I'll probably give this one like a 6, 6.5 out of 10. I didn't really hate it, but I also didn't like it. It was entertaining, but it wasn't great necessarily. So moving on to episode two, which I have already seen. So I don't really share my predictions because I know what's going on. But I will have the episode two breakdown out hopefully tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. With that said, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys thought of The Acolyte down in the comments section below episode one. And I guess you can share episode two thoughts or you can wait for tomorrow's video. And also while you're down there, drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more Acolyte breakdowns just like this one. I believe we have eight episodes in this season. So expect seven more videos about this show. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.